Let's see a live uh, demo of the auto indexing feature. I have pre installed a Couchbase server. It's running here. You can see it's a version uh, 4.5. It's the developer preview build. And let's log into the web console. I have already pre installed a bunch of uh, sample buckets. I'll be using travel sample bucket. Uh, for the demo. We have a new query bench uh, which shows uh, nice details about all the buckets on the left panel here and I can uh, type some queries and see the results here. The travel sample uh, has different flavors of documents. I will be using the type equals to route documents which has uh, array attribute named a schedule which has uh, all the flight details to start okay let's create an index a simple index on the schedule array uh, this is an index uh, created uh, on the day attribute in the schedule elements, right? I call it I schedule when because I'm using a when clause. Uh, the day has all the seven days, but I'll be creating an index, it's a partial index on uh, uh, the first five days. Okay, the query is executed successfully. Now let me try to run some queries. Okay, this is a select count star. Uh, it basically finds all the flights uh, which are scheduled on the third day of the week. The explain command uh, shows the, the query execution plan for this query. We can see uh, the plan is using the index we just created, I schedule underscore when, because the predicate uh, that is used in the query, which is v dot day equals to 3 uh, is included in the index that is created with uh, v dot day is less than or equal to 5. For example, when we run this query, yeah, we see all the results. Also, if I use a day, say something like 7, which is not part of the index we created, then we can also see that the index is not picked by this query plan. Okay, now let's run a second query which creates a composite index with array attributes and non-array attributes. This index is named iFlight Stops. It uses uh, the v dot flight attribute in the array elements and stops attribute which is not part of the array element. So it creates a index on stops and the flight details, especially the flight ID, especially when the day is six and seven. Effectively, we are creating an index on number of stops on the flights which are scheduled on a weekend. Okay, we have successfully created the index. And now try to run a query which will use this index. Okay, this query uh, tries to find all the flights and the number of stops when the number of stops is greater than or equal to zero and groups by the number of stops. We can see the query plan which does an index scan using the index that we just created. Let me try to run this query. Okay. Here you see uh, the result. We have all these flight numbers, which have no stops. They're all direct flights. And all these flights starting with FL 
have one stop. As a final example, let's look at uh, how to use nested arrays. In the ship travel example, travel sample, uh, we don't have any data that has a nested array. So let me try to update some of the records in schedule and add a nested array. Here this is an update statement that will add a nested array of special flights on day 7. We add this to only the first element of the schedule array. Okay, we have updated some records. Let's see, okay, how many records are updated. Okay, three records or three documents are updated. Now let's try to create an index on this. You can see, okay, we are creating an index, I nested, on special flights array, which is inside the schedule array, right? Uh, please note uh, the nested form of the distinct array construct in the create index statement. We use the nested form, the outer loop iterates over all the elements in schedule using the variable x and the inner first statement iterates over all the elements of special flights array in x. This is done using the variable y. Okay, the index is successfully created. Now let's see how to use this index. Here is a statement, select statement, that will use the index. It finds all the, all the special flights scheduled. That's all, it's a simple query. Okay, you can clearly see uh, it is three, uh, the number of records that we updated in the beginning. Let's observe the query plan. And you can notice it is using the I nested index that we created. That's it. Thank you so much for watching the demo. Bye.